Ladies and gentlemen, they've just won their first ever PGA Tour event. Rich, what do you think's going through their mind right now? Nothing. They're confused about everything right now. I tell you, you just, you win and you're just, you can't believe it just happened. You really just have no idea. You're shocked. It's a great feeling. 2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Serenity Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Major Champion Rich Beam in the booth and it's wonderful to welcome in Henny Koyak who's out on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, I'm very happy to be covering this week's featured group. What a pairing. These two, they've been going back and forth at each other. There is quite the budding rivalry here. No kidding Henny, this player, he seems to have picked out Bubba Watson as the man to beat. That's ambitious. Luke, you know when you think that you've got a player on the ropes, maybe they're in the middle of the trees, in the middle of a bunker, and you think they've got no shot. And then they do, in fact, put it to two feet. And then you're really frustrated. That's Bubba every single time. He's that player. No, you can't out Bubba Bubba, can you? Uh, there's nothing elementary about this, Watson, is there? Can't wait to see how this rivalry plays out, though. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up here from about 155. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the first. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Well, that's delightful. A birdie to get the round underway. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. And it's that man, JT, on top spot of this leaderboard. We're playing from Justin Thomas. Let's go down to John McCarthy for our on-course report. And, John, you've now had some time to walk the course this week before today's show. What are we in for today at the Jacobson Homestead? Well, Luke, yes, I love walking around this rural setting. Not a whole lot of trouble to start off with, but things heat up quite a bit when you hit the seventh hole par four. Has a dog leg left and a few bunkers and trees to deal with off the tee. Back nine opens with a narrow and lengthy par five, but that's really as tricky as it gets. I guess there is a li it gets a little swampy on the 15th, uh, but the water generally won't be a factor for many players out there in the field they saved the most challenging tee shot for the 18th uh, which leads up to an elevated green for the approach that will be a fun hole to watch this week hopefully provides some drama coming down the final stretch let's see what happens guys well that's certainly showcasing all their talents there that's impressive using the big muscles to get it home in two there Oh, he's up, Tiger. Putting for birdie here. Surely it's going to. Uh, a bit long on that one. Just a four-footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly.
good looking putt. Well, what a shame. A free putt for par there. Currently one under for the event. Next up is a par four. Always a stern test. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Chosen the pitching wedge here. This one's going right at the pin here. And how about that for confidence? Going right at the pin here in the midst of their rivalry with Bubba Watson. Love seeing that sort of play. Oh, what a stroke. That's inside the range. And now to Bubba Watson. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill, but of extra juice needed. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. And now we can take a look at how that play affects the leaderboard. Time to take a look at the standings, and Justin Thomas currently holds top spot. Now we're on the fourth tee here at Jacobson Homestead, and it's a par three, playing 181 off the back tees. Yeah, that's about as far as you're going to see this part of three play, Luke. Player's going to go in there with the mid, probably shortish iron. Obviously, with the water on the right, you want nothing to do with that side as the bank severely slopes downwards. Bailing out to left of the bunkers, not so hot either. But with just a short iron in your hand, you think that these players are good enough to fire right at it, don't you? That was exactly what the doctor ordered. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. And this putt to move into second spot on the leaderboard, or at least a share of it. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Oh my, how about that for a par? And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. That was wonderfully done. Well, here's an unlikely player. A little bit of an underdog, you say? Yes, but everybody on the PGA Tour can play. He's just an unknown quantity at the moment. I'm excited to watch. Going with the pitching wedge here. That's just inside the range. A good chance to take it even deeper here. This putt's for four under. Just didn't drop. That'll sting a bit. A par putt on the table. Okay, let's head to the next. And now to Bubba Watson. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. 
and JT is currently our leader. Time to tee off at the sixth. Good shot there, Beamer. Rich, one of the big advantages for the experienced players on tour is their history around particular courses. But what advice would you give to the new players who are coming to a course for the first time and how to handle it? I would say tread easily. Go in there and just try to get into a good rhythm on the golf course. Don't try and go out and try and hit too many heroic shots or go after too many flag sticks because if you don't know what the consequences are if you don't pull off that shot well shame on you so i think that the veterans obviously have more knowledge about golf courses and they can say oh i don't want to miss it there because that's dead i've seen it happen before when you go into a new golf course luke you got to go in with it and just try and play a little bit on the defensive side don't get too greedy don't try and make too many things happen go in there find some fairways find some greens hole a few putts here and there Get some confidence going first before you start attacking pins. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. That putt went a bit long there. Seven feet to the cup. line and with that that's their fourth birdie and that will take him to four under now checking in on the standings they're currently tied for first place with Justin Thomas moving up the leaderboard I like it looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot That's just not going to work for him. Henny, how's that ball lying? It's tough to see from here. Yeah, this is sitting up nicely. It's not going to cause any troubles. You love watching people play the game when it's like this. It looks so easy. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. This one's tracking. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And a quick glimpse of the leaderboard, and they're currently first, with Justin Thomas second. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. All right, facing a little up and down here to save the par. Oh, I thought that one was going in. And he needs this to save par. Yep, 
Yep, tracking well. Oh, that's a clutch par. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh my God. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. It's time to check on the leaderboard. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by a stroke. Always the toughest hole in the game. A long par four. Second shot here on the ninth hole. Going with the nine iron, I think. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Five feet coming up to the cup. Yep, tracking nicely. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. And that will take him to six under. Oh, this is a precarious position, if you don't mind me saying, Rich. They have the lead, but there's plenty chasing with just nine to play. Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. They've got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. <laughs> that was pummeled. Great drive. Oh my God, Rich, I don't even know who this player is. Look at this performance. Kind of coming out of nowhere, but that's what makes this game so great, isn't it? Everybody loves a Cinderella story. Nicely done. And now to Bubba Watson. He's currently in third place. Wonderful shot. Chip in for birdie. That's always a nice feeling. Let's return to live play now. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. great now that's a long-range bomb and with it puts extra strain on the person chasing behind them moments like that deserve another look I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that Leading by four strokes after that one. And coming off the eagle, feeling quite proud of themselves. A big chance here at the next.
They have put some hurt on that ball. Send it. Second shot here on the 11th. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. Hey, that's a chance. Ooh, nice putt to make for a birdie. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Oh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. And the players left with an opportunity to get up and down here from the sand. Oh, what a touch of class, holes it from the sand. And back to the course with the live action. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. That was a gallant attempt. Just a short putt remaining here. Currently in first position. This hole here is a par four. Just let that shot be water off a duck's back. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He is right on the 150 yard marker here. <laughs> ah, it's heading to the rough for mine. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I didn't think they'd be able to hit that from that lie. And this is an extremely long putt. They might even have to hinge on this one. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch.
Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. I think he gave that one too much respect. They didn't want to hit it too hard and go racing past the hole. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. He's currently in fourth place. And here we are with their fourth. Wow, what a save. All over the parking lot, but a chip in for par saves the day. Our current leader is up by three shots. And we find ourselves on the tier, one of the stronger par fours on the back nine here at Jacobson Homestead. The 14th playing 483 reach from the tips. Yeah, generous landing area, thankfully out to the right hand side. Obviously a bunker down the left, and if you miss it even further left, there's water lurking. But the second shot, this is where it gets slippery. This is where it gets dangerous, especially to a back right hole location. All of a sudden, the water down the right hand side comes into full view, bailing out to the left in the bunker. Not so hot either. I'll tell you what, it takes a brave player to fire at this flag stick. Choosing the nine iron here. And now to Bubba Watson. He's currently in fifth place. This is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. It's tracking. What a putt to make. Well done. Yeah, that is not what you want to come up against mid-round, mid-rivalry. That was mean. went down and this one is for his par managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard this hole is a par five Not bad. Most golfers these days, Rich, are, are quite generic style players. It's that hit it as far as you can, knock it on the green, try and hold some parts. But with Bubba Watson, we just got the artist back in the game, didn't we? We had someone who was prepared to do whatever it needed to be to get that ball in the hole. He's just astonishing to watch. You know, to me, Luke, I think Bubba was born in the wrong era. I think he would have been better served with Persimmon Woods, a lot of golf balls and and blades and i think that he would be an even bigger impact on the game than he currently is if that's even possible i watch what he does with the modern equipment and it's mind-blowing he's one of the few players luke that i will actually go in the driving range and watch hit golf shots because it is so fun to watch him aim 30 yards left and just try and hit these big sweeping hooks and fades and every I mean it's just unbelievable what he can do with the golf ball his eye hand coordination is simply the best in the game this one looking really good and the putt drops now 11 under heading down the stretch what a great feeling being that far ahead with just four to play Ooh, that was a touch of class. Wouldn't mind seeing that again. Now this, this is how you putt. Take another look at this. And looking at the standings now, and they're currently in first place ahead of Tiger Woods, who's second. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one.
Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Hey guys, we're checking in with Colin Morikawa as he gets set for his next shot here on the 17th. Well, what a wonderful shot into the 17th and sets up another putt inside birdie range. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. Ouch, that hurts. Putting for a par now. Okay, steady now. Just three feet to the cup. Well, that's providing some hope to the rest of the field as our leader stumbles with a bogey. Still in the lead now after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. Oh, well played. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. Opting for the six iron. That was a beauty. An opportunity for a birdie here. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Setting up this putt 10 feet from the cup. Nice little par putt here. Ah, that's got to be frustrating. It's such a great approach shot in, but wasn't able to convert. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. Birdied their last hole. How close was that to going down? And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our leader is up by four shots now. Rich, we find ourselves at the finishing hole here at Jacobson Homestead, and, and it seems strange to be playing it just at 400 yards. I tell you what, though, I like this finishing hole because it gives you options. You don't have to necessarily hit driver here. If you do, you got to take it over some pretty tall trees and you can't miss it to the left-hand side. The safe plate, lay it out to the right, but now your second shot becomes just a little bit longer, a little bit more difficult to get it that close to the hole. I love the options you have on this finishing hole. A great opportunity for one final birdie. Going with the eight iron here. Outstanding shot, high quality. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. And it's all come down to this. Make this putt and win the event. Oh, so close. Okay, so luckily they've got another chance to get the win here. Ladies and gentlemen, they've just won their first ever PGA Tour event. Rich, what do you think is going through their mind right now? Nothing. Uh, they're confused about everything right now. I tell you, you just, you win and you're just, you can't believe it just happened. You really just have no idea. You're shocked. It's a great feeling. Wow, they've done it, Rich. No one saw this coming, but I think we mentioned earlier, just how this would be a surprise to see them win.
I think everybody truly loves a good underdog story, don't they, Luke? And this player absolutely lived up to the billing of it. Great win. Couldn't be happier. On behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in and see you next time.